do not spend the 1953 coins you see in this video. You're going to want to watch this because we're going to break down what to do if you come across a rare coin from 1953, whether it's a penny, nickel, dime, or any other sort of rare coin from 1953, and how to maximize the value if you're trying to sell your little 1953 coin. So let's hop into this video. Up first, we do have a 1953 one cent coin that sold for 552 bucks. Now, when you're looking at the coin, you can see under Liberty there, right to the left, there is a bit of damage damage happening. Now damage will obviously decrease the value of your coin. A little bit on Lincoln's shoulder area there as well, but why does the coin look like this? It looks very strange. That is because this coin was accidentally struck on a silver dime planchet. By planchet, it just means the piece of metal the coin is struck on. This coin has multiple areas of damage. That's why PCGS graded this at a genuine. It did not give it a numeric grade because there is too much issues going on with the coin. That's why it's so important when you have a rare coin, you keep it safe because the condition condition is really important to increase its value. The better the condition, the more money your coin is going to be worth. This coin weighs 2.54 grams and it sold for $552. $1,740 this 1953 S 10 cent Roosevelt dime sold for. The first thing you may notice on this coin is the discoloration happening on the bottom side of the coin. That is a naturally occurring oxidation process called toning. Based upon where the coin is stored, the air will react with the metals in the coin causing some discoloration like this. This coin also has the full torch or the full bands on the back. So flip the coin over to the back and look at these horizontal bands on the torch. These are the highest point on the coin. It gets worn down the quickest and it is very hard for the area to be struck during the minting process. So this coin has the full bands. It's a mint state 68 grade, which is only two points away from the purple grade of 70. That's why this coin sold for $1,740. $2,400 for this 1953 one cent coin. Now this coin graded by PCGS at a mint state 67 red. A very beautiful example of a coin here. And this is still considered to be a wheat scent coin. If you flip it over, you see the wheat pieces on either side there. This has a very vibrant orange red color to it, the whole entire coin. Grading at the 67 grade is a very hard thing to come by, even though on the face of this coin, it looks like there's a bit of scuffing and gashes all over Lincoln there. But overall, these are all natural things. And this 1953 coin sold for $2,400. Here's a 1953 50 cent piece graded by PCGS at a proof 68. Now this coin is a genuine United States coin. Pretty rare to come by, especially in the proof 68 grade. Very, very challenging. This coin sold for $2,640. If you have one, keep it very safe. $2,760. This 1953 one cent coin sold for. It's a proof 67 with the red designation by PCGS. A very beautiful coin. If you have one, make sure you keep it in a safe coin envelope or potentially get it graded because you could have a coin with a lot of money just like this one sold for at $2,760. Here's a Washington quarter from 1953. It is a San Francisco minted coin. You can see that by that S mint mark on the back bottom center of the coin. This coin also has some pretty apparent toning happening to that. You can see there's some discoloration all over the coin. Regardless, this coin got graded at the PCGS mint state 68 grade, a very beautiful coin. Now remember, toning like this doesn't really matter on coins that are lower graded. They can at some points, but not always. Typically speaking, mint state coins in higher graded condition just like this coin, that's when the toning really matters. This example sold for $5,040. Bucks. $6,300 this 1953 S 5 cent Jefferson nickel sold for. PCGS graded it at a mint state 65 plus with the full steps on the back. So if you look above Monticello, you're going to see some full steps. Very similar to the Mercury dime, those steps on the back are the highest point on the coin They get worn down the quickest and they are the hardest to strike during the minting process. All you have to know is that look for the full steps on your coin, specifically if it's a mint state graded coin, because that's where the value add really is. Once again, $6,300. $14,100 for this 1953 one cent coin graded by PCGS out of mint state 67 red. Very high grade. You don't see them come at the 67 grade at all. There's a good probability that this coin got into auction with a bidding war where there's multiple people going after the coin, wanting to get their hands on it in their collection, and they bid each other up until someone eventually taps out and says, I'm done. That's why this coin sold for $14,100. So if you have a coin like this, make sure there's no mint mark below the date and also see if the grade is very high. Now, if you want to know more about coin handling, coin grading, and other coin and currency tips, pick up our completely free coin ebook down below. You won't want to miss that and we'll see you in the next video.